Next, I want to do my net present values. Net present value starts out with my discount rate. then CF0, then my cash flow sequence, then my cash flow frequency, and then finally solve. So again let's go through the example on the financial calculator. Go to my apps, finance. Now I want my net present value, my discount rate is where I'm starting, that's the 12 percent. So 12, comma, next I want my CF0, negative 200,000 is my CF0. So make sure it's negative 200,000. Now I want my cash flow sequence. 120, 90, 50, 40, and 30,000. 120,000, 90,000, 50,000. 40,000, 000, and lastly 30,000. Close that out. Now put in my frequencies. Each one just has a frequency of one, so I have five ones. Close that bracket. Now I want to solve, so green shift, solve, and I get a net present value of $56,922.85. Again, that net present value for project A, $56,922.85. nine hundred and twenty two dollars and eighty five cents time for net present value for project B in negative four hundred thousand or start with twelve percent then four hundred thousand negative then my sequences and frequencies so let's go through that apps finance, go down to net present value, start with the interest rate which is 12 percent, then the cash flow negative 400,000, then the sequence, cash flow sequence 40,000, 60,000, 120,000, 240,000, and last one in the sequence, 340,000. Once I get those in, close my bracket. Quick recap was negative 400, 40, 60, 120, 240, 340. Each of those is a frequency of one. So now when I put in my cash flow frequencies, just have a sequence of five ones for my frequencies, close that out, solve, and I get $114,409.02. So 114, 409, and 2.
And that's all there is to calculating net present values with your TI-83 or TI-84 calculator.